Energy Channel. My name is Tidio Andiona for those of you who don't already know. Um, today's video is going to be sweet, short and precise because I'm currently not feeling well. I have got killer cramps and girls know. All I'm going to say is the girls know. <laughs> I'm in so much pain right now but um, I hope you guys do like this video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share and do subscribe. Um, I love you guys so much. To those of you who have already subscribed, we're on 319 subscribers. Hopefully, we get to 400 before... What month are we in? Before April. Um, yeah. So, today is an assumptions tag. I do ask questions on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see my question sticker thingies. So if you want to participate in that, you just have to go. Sorry, you just have to go follow me. Okay, my Instagram will be down in the description, the link below. I did transfer the screenshots to my laptop. I hope you guys do like this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I am in so much pain, but I've decided to record because there's no way I'm going to let you guys go two weeks, one two, without having a video for me. That's just unfair and honestly, how can I ask people to subscribe when I decide when I want to like recording so sometimes I just have to do what I have to do to give you guys content <sighs> even though I'm in so much pain. <laughs> I was crying earlier today but it's okay. Um, okay, so the first question is, no assumption, not question. The first assumption is you are a teacher or someone who is around children quite often well yes i am or i was i was a teacher and i was around kids for a really so you guys i mean um, this is not i was uh i was a teacher i was around kids all the time because i was a teacher um however i'm no longer a teacher i did change jobs now i'm doing something else um but i am around kids often because my mom so happens to have 20 kids <laughs> like she has like seven <laughs> it's like seven of us little minions in the house so yes i am a teacher and well i was a teacher and i am around kids often you love lj of course who doesn't love lj have you seen her she's like i love lj guys lj is one of my best friends and i just i love her to death I love her so much. You are by No, I'm not. Okay, let me address this quick. So, there's a time I went out with my friends and there were these guys who were, were trying to like come sit with us and like that. They really like my friend. Her name is LJ. She's the one who, yeah. So, they really liked LJ and they were trying to get with her and that's what they So, I, she was like to me, you know what, just kiss me so that these people see that I'm not into them, I'm into girls. Which is a lie because she's into, she's very much straight like me. <laughs> but then because we were trying to just get these guys off of us, so I was like, why not? Let's do it. So yeah, I did kiss her and in few weeks later we also then it became a whole thing. You have a lot of friends. I do have a lot of friends. Uh, I don't have a I can't say I have a lot of friends. <gasps> Shit, I need to move, guys. My aunt is back. Let's go to another room. Yo, guys, can I just say I really love my aunt? <laughs> okay, so my uncle was back. He just left. I don't know how the camera was before. We're going to have to deal with this. My uncle came back. <coughs> he just left. So. I was like running out of the room because I was like speaking. I was like, no one knows that I, I take videos here in the room and find the best lighting. In. <sighs> Anyways, let's continue. Let's get through this video because I can't be running like this when I'm this sick. Um, let's reapply some lipstick. The juicy of the lips, the glossy of the lips, the juicy of the eyes. You have a lot of friends. I won't say I have a lot of friends. I do have a lot of acquaintances. I do talk to a lot of people, but it doesn't necessarily mean 
I'm friends with them but um if I were to count my friends uh I still would say I've got quite a number of friends you know um but not a lot <laughs> Not a lot, but maybe you caught me again because I'm being really nosy. You are a sweet person, but some friends don't appreciate you, and in turn, looks like you're forcing things. Like I said, I do have a lot of acquaintances. Mm, I am a sweet person, thank you. I do believe I think I'm a sweet person, I think I'm a really nice person, but I do have. I won't say friends because I do know that friends are not supposed to like. You should you don't feel like you're forcing anything i'm someone who doesn't like forcing things so if i feel like something is not going in the direction i want it to go and i feel like i'm pressuring someone to be my friend or to be with me or something like that i will completely like cut you out cut you off and be like you do you i do me we just go on with our lives because there's no way i'm going to be begging someone to be my friend or forcing someone to be my friend or forcing things that are just not meant to be I don't force things, you know, but I have two persons. Thank you very much. Mm. I love a girl. Do I look like a lover girl? Do I actually love a girl? Okay, so two people, one said a lover girl and someone said you're actually a lover girl. Maybe. <laughs> I think I am. Honestly speaking, I feel like I'm a lover girl because, how can I explain this? I feel like I'm a lover girl because um, I'm a hopeless romantic. I do believe in love and I do believe everyone should be in love. And everyone should just like enjoy their time on earth with whoever they are with. So I am a lover girl. I do believe in love and I do believe everyone needs to be in love. So yeah, I mean a few days ago it was Valentine's. So if you're not in love, you see, you are freakishly tall. How am I supposed to take that? How am I supposed to take that? I don't know. Freakishly is not the right word to say. I mean, it is an assumption. It's better for you to just tell ask someone if they're tall or not, or you can just say you are really tall. I feel like when you say freakishly tall, being a freak is not that type of freak. <laughs> being a freak. <laughs> Being a freak is associated with being an ogre, with being something. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the best word you can use when you're asking someone who's told that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just don't like when people exaggerate. Or I mean, yeah, I am tall, but like, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with me. So you use good choice of word next time but i am tall and i love being tall i am five ten um yeah i can imagine i'm like 177 16 like yeah it's like two meters tall so i'm like i'm there i'm tall come on i'm a whole model i am a whole ass model come on don't play games with me. <laughs> you have dated someone shorter than you. I have spoken to people shorter than me. And yes, I have dated people shorter than me. Because it's not that deep for me. It's just height. Um, it's more of the hard ones for the hard ones, you know. Yes, I can be like, I'll never date someone who's shorter than me. I will never get married to someone who's shorter than me. I can only do someone who's taller than me. But then at the end of the day, if that person who is shorter than you or that person who is taller than you does not treat you right, you know, if that person who's taller than me is not treating me the way I want to be treated, why should I limit my expectations to just dating tall guys? I don't understand. If there's a short guy slightly shorter than me or even like half age, I don't care how short you are, and they want to love me properly and be like you are the queen and my princess you're my love and they have the same morals as you and everything they do just aligns with most of the things you <sighs> most of the things you believe in why should i not give that person a chance like why should i only limit myself to someone who's tall i mean for some people it works you know saying i'll never date someone shorter than me and then for others it doesn't like i'm a really tall girl and because i'm above average height so I can't be like, I'm not going to date this person because they're shorter than me. Because it doesn't work like that. Come on. 
but if I have seen this one, I'm sure I have. Not an assumption, but I wanted to ask when you're going for uni. Great content, by the way. Um, for uni, I'm not yet sure. I was supposed to leave this year to go to Poland, but I have. I got a new job, and that job is quite big, so to say. I can climb up the ladder if that makes sense. So I'm thinking of doing online school while I stay in Zim. Do online school and continue working and hopefully when I get my degree I can climb up that, that um hierarchy love really? climb that ladder, you know, like I think I can do a lot more here. But however I want to build myself in Zim and then go out there. Um I did take two gap years reason being the first year here i wasn't ready okay actually i'm just going to have a whole video on my journey after high school so that you guys understand like the the, 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 la, la, the decisions i have made and why i have made those decisions oh to answer your question i don't know where i'm going for uni i don't know if i'm going to be doing online or i am going to proceed to go to poland i am not sure but i will let you know as soon as i know i'm going to have a whole video on why i haven't gone to school and why i decided to take two gap years and i hope you guys still like that video assumption you have a boyfriend do i who wants to know <laughs> um do i i don't know what do you guys think comment down below let's start a conversation down the tell me what you guys think do you think i'm in a relationship or not just let me know just let me know what not an assumption but i think you're really pretty thank you thank you um i don't think you guys have seen me without my glasses this is what i look like without my glasses <laughs> um but thank you so much um i love compliments always i can't see that's why i'm using my glasses because even reading this i wasn't able to read it unless i do this to be like I'm blind, <laughs> so that's why I always have glasses on. But I want to get contact lenses. Comment down below if you get contact lenses and what color they should be. I'm thinking of hazel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Up to the end, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This was not the end, but I can't keep going up and down. Got something real, I'm back. You won't get me started.